it's time for an unboxing. It's here. It's finally here. Okay, let's get into it. can probably guess what it is by the size of the box but this is something that I have been wanting since last year I was going to buy myself it or I was going to buy this for myself for Christmas but I decided to get something else but still wanted this I still wanted this item so here we are a few months later and here it is not to completely rip the paper. Oh, beautiful box. There we go. Guess this is like a travel pouch. Oh, that. And here's the screwdriver. I got myself a love bracelet. This is what I have been wanting since Christmas or for my birthday that time. And I just held off, um, got myself something else, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to uh, try and get it on. I got the um, love bracelet in the regular size because the um, I wanted something that I would be able to keep and have whether I had, like I could only have one piece, I wanted it to be the bigger and thicker one. So that's why I decided to go with the regular size. So let me, I'm gonna go off camera and try and get it on because I know it's difficult to get it on by yourself and I'm single, it's just me. So I have to try and put it on by myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I watched a couple videos of people doing it by themselves, and it's not something I'm going to record. Y'all can go watch those other videos, but yeah. Okay, so after a little bit of a workout, I finally got it on. I tried, I saw a video of a girl doing it like in between her knees, so that's what I did. If I... Remember, I will link the video, but yeah, here it is. So as I was stating earlier, the reason I got the regular size bracelet is because I wanted something substan substantial enough that I could wear it on its own because I don't know if I'm going to be adding to, like I would like to create a bracelet stack, but I don't know when I'll be adding my next piece. To it so I wanted something that I could wear on its own if I only had one piece I wanted to get the larger bracelet but because I'm because it's only me 
to put on the bracelet. I initially just was going to go with the small version of it, but I, yeah, as I said, decided against it because I wanted something that would stand on its own. And if I never got another Cartier piece, like I'd be satisfied with this. I wouldn't have been satisfied with just the small version on its own. Like I would have wanted, um, I would have wanted two of the small bracelets um, if I got them. But now that I have this, I think I still want the small. I think I'd like to stack the small with this. I think that'd be cute together to have the larger one and the small one next to it. So, but yeah, not no plans to get that anytime soon. But uh, I also thought this looks very tiny in the box, you guys. Like, it looks super small. I did not think this was going to fit. I used... So on Cartier's website, they um, have this measuring thing that you can print out to kind of measure your wrist and determine your size. And when I measured my wrist, I was at 15 centimeters. You just like, after you print it out, cut it out. I'm sure you guys are aware, pull it through. After I measured, I came out to be 15 centimeters, right? And it, I believe it recommends you go up to the next size. And if you're between sizes, you go up a size and a half. So like if I was a 15 and a half, um, I would need a 17. But I was a 15, so I just got the size 16 in this. And when I was putting it on, I was like, oh my God, this is not going to fit. But it fits. I have room. The one thing I did, I wanted a tighter fit on the bracelet. And as you can see, I still... I hope I can, like, you can see there's some run there or there's run there on the top. And I wanted a tighter fit because I don't like it when my bracelets go past, like, my, what is this called? Like, my wrist bone. I, and this still does that. So I didn't want it to do that, but it does. What can you do? I'm not going to get a size 15. I think that'd be too tight. But. I will, oh, that's the other thing. I think you go up two sizes from your wrist size if you want a looser fit. But I went up to one size because I wanted a tighter fit. But yeah, that is it. I probably need to get all my fingerprints off of it. But as many people have said, this is going to get scratched up a lot in the like probably even today because I think I'm going to just keep wearing it so I can get used to it because it's definitely got some weight to it, you guys. Um, yeah, it's got some weight to it. So yeah, I got to get used to wearing it. I'm used to wearing bracelets, but this is just one solid piece. It doesn't, it's a, you know, bangle. It doesn't move with you like my Pandora bracelet. It, it moves. So yeah. All right, so that is it for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Do you guys have this bracelet? Any tips or tricks? Um, and also, what do you think I should add? Do you think it'll look cute adding a small bracelet to the stack? Let me know below and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to do like a 24 hour update. It's been a day since I put on my left bracelet and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I did scratch it. I, did, I got a scratch within the first couple of hours of having it. It scraped up against my MacBook. So just wanted to show you guys what it looks like after 24 hours. A reason to go slow, but ever since I fell. I just want some more yeah. And I fell for you I will go through hell for you I will go to jail for you So yeah, that's I it for this video And I'll catch you guys in the next one I'm trying to make you very spoiled Yeah, I was alone before And I look at you like, oh my lord Woo. Like Paloma Ford You a model, huh? No press on the brakes, but hey, pull the throttle, huh? Yeah, my heart was guarded, huh?